in the early 18th century, 17th, early 18th century, all things Chinese were considered to be beautiful and wanted. But suddenly, by a sleight of hand, the Chinese became the, the evil ones. The waves of Chinese who came over in the 50s and 60s, by necessity, were atomized. I think we have a lot in our Chinese culture that seems very cruel. My father constantly said to me, you must never talk about the family, you know, you never talk to strangers about anything to do with the family. She looked at me the other day and said, you know, you've, you've, you've ruined your life. Now, I wonder how many Chinese people in this country feel as if they really belong here. They may moan about so many things, but not angry enough to get up to do something. I don't think I've ever fully felt or, or do feel that the UK is, as it were, my country. I've grown up in a family which, despite being a Chinese family, isn't that Chinese. And I couldn't marry a Chinese man, I mean, good heavens. In TV and advertising, really behind the times in terms of the way that they portray women and ethnic minorities. When you see a caricature or a stereotype of a, of a Chinese person on TV, the re the it could exist, it would be fine with it existing if there was other flavours of the same which we could contrast it against. We've got the, the challenge of the Olympics coming up, haven't we, you know? Do we support um, Tom Daly when he's diving or do we support the Chinese? You know, it's that kind of thing, you know. And actually, to be honest, what he doesn't realise is you end up supporting both.